Stick around to the end for a sneak peek at chapter two, baby! Yeah! Hello, everybody. My name's Garrett Horn, the voice of your favorite baby boy. Look at this little Jesus. Stay on script. Right. I'm the voice of your favorite Oshawa Josh. Fans of mine might also know me as We Sports. Those snake people from Lego Ninjago. Park G Min from BTS. I come with news and some special content just for you. Firstly, we've been working a lot on the second chapter. As always, the audio for it has been completed for a while. And until now, only patrons had access to the first couple of scenes. But today, you get to listen for yourself. We also got a head start on the script for chapter three, and we managed to get about halfway through the art for chapter two as of this video's posting. We can't wait for you to see what happens, but for now, we don't have a release date. Of course, new artists are always welcome to reach out to us if interested. Next up, we have some huge news. We just made our Discord server public, baby. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Of course, certain channels and chats are still patron exclusive, but now you can join the underground media group community and talk to each other and to us <clears throat> and to me. We hope you'll come over and make the server lively as it should be. All right. Uh... Right. Hmm. All right, that looks like it's all the news we have for now. I guess all that's left is to show that sweet, sweet chapter two preview. So without further ado, enjoy the first eight minutes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Arceus's Wish, chapter two. Kyle had woken in a cold, dark void. The surrounding nothingness was familiar enough that it seemed only a little off-putting. Hello? Is anyone there? Did I die? Kyle placed a paw to his chest. He sat in silence and listened. The only sound to be heard was that of his heartbeat, the emptiness around him making it seem even louder than usual. My heart's still beating, but where am I? What happened? I remember pain, and then everything went black. Ugh. What happened to everyone else? I... Strange sounds began to surface from all around him. He turned in every direction, nervously trying to pinpoint where all of it was coming from. His heartbeat began to grow faster and louder, and he could feel cold sweat beginning to form on his face. Who, who's there? What is this place? Kyle. Ah! Hearing the familiar voice, Kyle jumped, turning to face behind him. Then from the shadows, a Pokemon appeared, so clearly to him despite the lack of a light source. The looming form of Arceus, the legendary Pokemon said to wield the power to shape worlds. Y you're- I'm Arceus. Yes. Please, do not fear. I know your voice. You spoke to me before. You're the one who brought me here, aren't you? Yes, I played a part in that. Well, can you take me back home? I was in a void like this before, right? Can't you make another big light and just send me back to my- Kyle, as things are now, even if I wanted to, I cannot send you back yet. N no Am I going to be stuck here? Stuck as a Pokemon forever? There is a reason why you were summoned. Did you not think of questioning that at all? What? A reason? What reason could you possibly have? I- I'm just a nobody, I don't- There isn't much I can share with you at this moment. It isn't safe. But I have brought you here because I am under siege. Siege? I don't understand. What could threaten you? You must understand. This isn't just about me. In fact, all living creatures are in danger. Both in this world, and in yours. 
I have chosen you, and used my last moments of freedom to bring you here. Why me? Could you have picked any human? What am I supposed to do? Kyle, you are... different. There is something within you. Something incredibly special. But it is still far too early. Telling you everything now would be a risk. My remaining energy is slowly shrinking. And... We are not quite alone. Kyle's spine bristled and his hackles raised in anticipation. He half expected something to jump out and attack him that very moment. But instead, what felt like an eternity went by, and nothing happened. There will be others who will guide you, and help you find your way. You must follow their guidance. And you must believe. Arceus closed his eyes. Slowly, his form faded back into the darkness, leaving nothing but his voice in the air. Good luck, Kyle. Grant my wish. Barely before he finished speaking, Arceus was gone as suddenly and inexplicably as he had appeared. Kyle was once again left to sit in the darkness. The beating of his heart, much faster now, filled the silence once again. Slowly, the weight of the godly Pokémon's words began to settle in. Save the world? This has to be a joke, or, or some sort of nightmare. There's nothing special about me. I should be home right now, asleep, in bed. I can't... I can't do this. Kyle didn't know what to do, or how to process what he had been told. His only reaction was to shrink and cover his face with his paws, waiting so his breathing could slow down. Then suddenly, all the air left his lungs at once. <laughs> Looking down, Kyle realized a smoky black tendril had extended from somewhere in the void beneath him and wrapped itself around his stomach and neck. His eyes widened as he realized he was having the life slowly choked out of him. Uh, so here you are. A little child Arceus decided to pit against me. Kyle could see a few brief flashes of red through the void in the corners of his vision, almost like a passing creature of some sort. What? What's happening? Who's there? <laughs> so pitiful. So helpless. What was that pathetic being thinking bringing you here? Does he really believe that all it takes to bring me down is a sad little human? Flailing his legs, Kyle tried to kick the tendrils away. But to no avail, more appeared and immobilized his hind feet, then his tail, his paws, and his snout. Kyle could no longer move or breathe, and he'd already begun to feel his lungs burn and his vision blur. He groaned and flailed, trying desperately to cry out into the darkness for help. <laughs> Fighting is useless! The terrified Umbreon felt everything start to slip from him once more. He had lost all feeling in his legs and torso. Am I really going to die here? In the void? Where nobody can hear me? Ominous red eyes appeared before him as the world became heavier and fuzzier. What does he expect you to do? Come find me and face me yourself! <laughs> Fine! Come to me then! Try. There is nothing you can do. Arceus is merely wasting the little energy I've yet to steal from him. Soon, both worlds will belong to me! He says there's something within you. I'll find you, little Kyle! And tear it right out of you! Then, the tendrils shook and twisted, releasing Kyle's body and flinging him into the air. When he collapsed onto the dark ground, Everything around him snapped back into color. Thanks for watching.